Crackberry.com. Hi, right, this is James from Crackberry.com, and I'm here with uh, James O'Connor, who's the uh, developer of Gadget Box, which you may have seen uh, featured on uh, Crackberry.com in uh, the not too distant past. Uh, one of my favourites, this one, so uh, it's nice to actually put a face to the name, although we're not going to show you his face because he's going to remain anonymous. So, so James, I mean, it's a great app, I'm loving it, lots of other people are as well, obviously you've got good feedback. Uh, what made you come up with the idea or the, or the concept? Um, so basically I, I wanted the idea of an app where I could perform a lot of little real world tasks, um, but all, all within one app. The typical thing that people seem to do is they create a single app to do one thing. Sure. Um, so you have a level and, and a ruler and a protractor, but it's all taking up space on your desk, on your, on your phone uh, home screens, right? Um, and to me that seems a little bit silly to charge for something like that, so I wanted to put it all into a big useful package. Um, that people could use again and again, and that I could improve and use myself because I just I just wanted something handy that I could use myself essentially. Sure, fantastic. I mean, obviously we've now got the uh, we've got Q10 support as we can see here, which is good news. Uh, it, are you going to be bringing anything else to the app in the near future, or is that does that remain top secret? <laughs> uh, no, I have a lot of uh, things in development, so new tools using a lot of the other sensors, and I get a lot of feedback through the forums. Um, through the support in BlackBerry World and just in general email inquiries and a lot of them are really good ideas so when I when I hear a good idea it goes right into the app so just glaring omissions like things in the units um, that are new for for the version that I put onto the Q10 yep. um, uh, there were some now now that I have heard about it glaring omissions from from the unit conversions so now we've got a flow rate converter uh, temperature new things added to the pressure uh, and a, and a, somebody came up with a good idea for a number-based converter, which should have been in the first one. Now that I think about it, but uh, cool. that's that's why feedback is really important. So definitely, definitely. So out of out of all the functionality on the app, which is uh, which is your favorite? <laughs> um, so I really like the speedometer, actually. Yeah. Um, so it, it's probably the more fully featured uh, one in in the suite of tools. Um, and th there just keeps being more things added to it, more things that I want to see added to it. <laughs> And actually, on the way down to the conference, I was using it in. Oh, we're not going to get a satellite signal here, but I was using it in uh, the airplane. And so, oh, really? So I'm. Yeah. So I, I managed to hit 650 kilometers an hour. Wow. In the air. Uh, but then I noticed I really I really could use to see my my altitude as well. So I'm going to be throwing that in the uh, in the speedometer in the near future. Good um, stuff. Well, keep the updates coming. Uh, as I say, this one's uh, definitely a personal favorite of mine, and uh, yeah, it's great to meet you and uh, good job. All right. Thanks. Good to meet. You.